what's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my youtube channel today i'm going to basically tell you how to fix the not launching or not starting properly issue you're currently having with ghost Recon and wildlands so stick to the end guys this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you will perfectly know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue before we start right into the video i just want to you guys know or let you guys know that i would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like a comment or a subscription right into my youtube channel it would really make my day and help me out as a little youtuber as i am Especially subscribing would be such a big support for me, guys. You would support my work here on YouTube a little bit, and I'm going to really, really be thankful for that, and I'm going to thank you for that. So, anyways, I would just say, let's get right started. So, the first step I would recommend doing for everybody is going to be to uh, navigate to the very bottom of your screen, where you're going to right-click your taskbar and open up your task manager. <laughs> navigate to the top left corner of your screen, click into processes, and the next step is going to be to click one of those random processes. doesn't really matter which one. You're going to type in G in order to find Ghost Recon... Wildlands, if nothing pops up, it's good for you. If something pops up, simply right-click and anti task. Once you're finished with that, simply anti task manager again. And afterwards, you're going to navigate to your uh, launcher shortcut for me, it's Steam, or your in-game shortcut on your desktop. But if you don't have it there, simply navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen, click under the window symbol, and use your Windows search function in order to find it. So once you found it, simply drag it right back onto your desktop. Let's quickly come back, take the shortcut, right-click it, and go to the very bottom where it says Properties. Once this window pops up, click into compatibility and simply copy my settings. So let's quickly run through it. Enable run this program in compatibility mode for it. Select Windows 8, disable the disable full screen optimizations, as well as enable run this program as an administrator. Hit apply and OK. I would personally recommend to restart your PC afterwards. And once it is restored, you should be able to see this little administrator symbol right into your shortcut. I want you to simply launch a game over the launcher, launch a game instantly, and this will probably fix your issue. Yeah, guys, that's it for the video. I hope that I could actually help you out of this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment, or a subscription. I'm going to really be thankful for that. And yeah, I guess I'm really sorry if I couldn't help you, but I'm just going to do my best in order to help you out. Either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one, and bye.